Hi guys, so I'm just finishing up some things in um, the healing journal. And uh, so I wanted to bring you along. So this is um, the original uh, book plate from the book I used. So I am going to put that in the journal. So I wanna back it onto this paper. It's actually um, not too bad. It's not very fragile, although it's fairly, the book was 1921, is that what it says? 1922. So, I'm just gonna see if I can get it on with some glue stick and get around all those edges. Yeah. I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. So I've got all my signatures sewn in at this point. Um, I was a little annoyed my first page in here slid over, so I'm not really happy about that. But it's, I guess you wouldn't really tell unless you knew it, unless you were the one that did it. All right, so we'll get this glued up and I'm gonna get it in this first page right here next to the title page that I put in. So we're going to put it right here. Get that out of the way. There, that's pretty good. So then I want to, I want to add the, um, the original piece of the binding you know, the back of the book right here. Oh, it does say 1921. And so I wanna put it on here. But what I, and I really like how this came out. It did really well. It was a little tricky with the signatures because it's so bendy here. Um, and maybe next time I'd put a piece of Tyvek or something in there, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I think I'm gonna just kind of try to lay this out so we, yeah, nope, we're not gonna do that. All right, so what I thought I would do, can you just maybe stand up there a little bit? Maybe, maybe. I think I'm gonna put this lace down here, get it even, let it hang over on the bottom and on the top. And then I think I'm gonna glue this. So I'm gonna glue this first, just right down this middle between these flowers and I think that will be fine I really wanted to include it because I just think it's a wonderful part of of the book and we want to make sure we have that so I did take off a little bit of this on the top and bottom but I think I'm just gonna leave the rest of it because it's just so you know it's nice I like the way it's worn like that okay um, so I think let's use some of this. Get that right on the top and on the side, right there. So I only had little journey girl yesterday and she, I wouldn't believe what she can do. I mean, she's she's three. She turned three in February. Um, but I've been, she's watched me journal since, you know, forever, since she was a baby. Like, so she's, you know, always wants to help and whatever. The first thing I taught her how to do um, was to ink around the edges. And, um, you know, we started with scrap paper and stuff, but... She's really good at it, so I often let her link ink pieces that I'm working on. And then um, we all, the kid, all the kids I've taught to collage. And so that's always fun. And then, you know, she watches me making journals. I always say, what do you think of this? You know, and of course they always tell me they love it, whatever it is, because they're just 
cutie patooties. Um, let's see, I just want to get this even, so hang on. Try to get it as even as I can. Um, so when I had her yesterday, just her, I said, you know, she started doing some collage and things. And she had folded her papers up and glued some together and whatever. I said, you know what? You're starting, that's starting to look like a cover of a journal. Do you want to make one for your mom or something? Oh, yeah, I'll we'll make it for my mom. So I just let her go with it. And I did help her get some pages in for, you know, a signature to write in and whatever. Then she went to town. You should have, she had, she used like a whole roll. You know, get that washi tape that doesn't really go with anything or whatever. Well, she did. She used almost a whole roll of washi tape on it, a couple of rolls. And she, she would say to me, oh, look, this, you have another one of these. Can I take this one home? I was like, sure. And uh, so she was so funny. And I'd say, okay, you probably need to let that dry a little bit and then come back and do more. And she'd, okay. And then later on she'd say, oh, I want to work on my journal again. Okay, come on, let's go work on our journal. And it was just, it was really fun watching her create that. And she did really well. It came out really nice. You know, for a for a little three year old's project, she did, and she really, you know, she did most of it herself. I I helped with folding and explaining to her what it could look like and things like that. But she went to town on it. I gave her some fabric and stickers and the washi tape, um, and she had a little pair of safety shears and. I would say, well, I'll help you cut something like fabric. You might not be able to cut with those scissors. Sure enough, she was able to do it. She was very concentrated and very just, you know, was loving what she was doing. It was obvious, you know. So that was, was fun with her yesterday. It's been really nice and warm here. You know, it's been high 80s, which I don't mind a bit. I guess probably I mind it more that I'm older than what I did when I was younger, but. All right, I wanna make sure I get enough glue all over here so that it really, really glues down really well. Okay. right side up please whoops I hope you can see what I'm doing okay why did this go all um, hmm well, it's still going my video but I the screen turned a little dark so I'm not sure I'm gonna stop it and start again okay it's obviously not letting me do anything right now I'll be back not even letting me shut it off. Okay, doke. Okay, we're gonna just come back and I'll attach these two together. My my phone was running out of um, juice, so let's try this again. Hopefully, my glue didn't all like get dry, but I don't think so. All right, now I sort of want to. I gotta make sure a little there and a little there. That's good. That look pretty good. And that kind of hides the edge of the, the raw edge of the book over here too. That's good. I didn't realize that, but that is good. All right, it's a little, it's a little offset. Do I mind that? All right, and so we're gonna look through this. This will kind of be the flip through for this also, just because I um, I really don't wanna do another flip through. This is a going, it's a special order for my sister. I'm just looking for my um, glitter glue, which has disappeared. 
All right, well, we'll just use some of this. I just wanna put a little bit of this. So we'll do a little flip through. I'm gonna probably be adding just some more tags and things in different places. I just wanna make sure this is really, you know, glued down. I don't really want any of it popping up here and there. And that, that's like here. It's not quite all the way glued here. Let's just put a little more glue in there. And do a little. I know I just pulled that up. It's okay. It's okay. There. Press this down. Then I might have to do a little more work on it. I don't know. But it's pretty good. All right. Um, I may put something more on the cover. I am not, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I do have some more things. I do have more things. Um, but I really don't think, I mean, I do have this lovely grape one that could go on there. I might just put a book plate on there. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, but let's go inside and see. So I made a bunch of tags to go in here. I mean, this was my very, very favorite picture, but it doesn't, well, it sort of does fit, but I don't wanna take away too much of the book. So I just made it into a tall tag. So that's in here. I put a pocket here. And then these with the, the little um, things that tell about the plant. Some of them I did like this. I made a little pocket with the thing on the back. And then some of them, if they had a place that it really wasn't gonna take away from it, I just glued it on like that. Cause I really wanted to keep those together if they had that going on. Okay. Oh, here we go. So here's the envelope flippy things that I made. This, um, so it opens here. It has this little tag here. It opens here, it has this little tag. Actually, it needs another little tag there, doesn't it? What have I got? I do have something like this. I'll stick this here for now and then I'll come back and, and um, ink that up and whatnot. Okay, and then it has that tag there I showed you, and then it has this tag in here. Lots of tags going on. And it ha this kit came with some little um, tabs, so I put some of those on. And then I put this pocket and did a few things. And in here, there's pieces glued in. Cause you know, I'm not patient, I can't wait. Oh dear, come on now. Just come out, baby. Come on out. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fiddle with that because this is uh, the painter's tape paper. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and fiddle with that because I don't wanna rip it. So anyway, in here there's just tags like this. Some of them, you know, have that pocket in the back. This was a little, I guess it's a coin envelope, I'm not sure. So in here are a couple of little journaling spaces right here. there. Okay. So it did end up pretty chunky. Belly band that I made. And that's where I put this um, cool flip out thing. We did some of this um, together on camera. And I just decided to leave it with this bow around it. That's a pretty um, thick piece of stuff. Um, this is the bag that I made. This is a pocket for that one. A couple little tags in here. Certainly could more could go in here. <clears throat> and then green uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper. Some of my coffee dyed. Blueberry stained paper. Pretty digital from the kit. And I made a um, tuck spot with this tag. And in here is a, another little envelope, which I did a little string tie and it has a little notebook in there. 
Journey also makes me these little tabs. She punches tabs out for me. <laughs> uh, this also, this blueberry paper, really has a, a texture to it that's interesting. The other side of that bag. I made a couple fabric flips and I put a little dangle on those. Um, here's another tuck spot with a couple of tags in there. See that other piece of that page and I'm upset about that. All right, and then here's the next um, um, signature. Are you kidding me? Is this upside down? No, it's not. Phew, I just, I thought I really checked. So this has the envelope that comes out like so. And then it has a tag in this little pocket here, a tag in this little pocket, and a big tag in this pocket. Those are fun. We need to get in because he needs to be there. Okay. And another pocket here with some more tags. Pretty, and I put, you know, that on there. Okay. And then another little tuck spot here. A couple pretty little tags. Belly band and another little notebook. I liked I put that on the cover. I thought that was fun. And here's the other side of that paper bag. With a couple of tags in there. And then there's room to put something in here. Just a little, little ruffle on that. More blueberry and coffee dyed papers. This is a digital from the kit. Another tuck spot I made with the um, tag. Other side of the bag, which you can put something in. The other, another fabric flip. They're very similar. They're not all the same. The flat fabric flips. They're not identical, but they're um, they have a lot of the same fabric going on. All right, and the last signature. Here's this other envelope, and has a tag here and a tag here. Put it down in there. Okay, and I have a space here for something also. Love that. I love the way that one came out. And a pocket here with some tags and this. So I have two, let me just use this a little bit. I uh, have two kits I'm using. I'm using Mrs. Cog's um, Healing Plants and um, and blooms of healing plants. And then I'm using healing plants. And that's from, mm, I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'd have to look at that because that was, I can't remember who that came from. Here's another little, um, it's a couple of tags that I just stapled together with a little bit of paper in there. And then I decorated just a piece of the paper from the kit with that. And here's the third um, bag, straw paper bag. And I decorated that. And there's room to put it in, a little journaling space on the back. And that's the middle. I love that page. Okay, another tag pocket. The back of the bag with journaling space and a little collaging on the back. Sec uh, the third <clears throat> um, the fabric flip. Come here. Oops. And that's the end. And then I stuff this back pocket with just a bunch of 
tags. And I think um, the gal that's getting this is going to be really, um, she's going to like going through it and seeing all the healing stuff. So that's it. And um, that is the healing journal. And that's my last, um, yeah, my last custom order. So I'm pretty psyched about that. So I can go on to do a couple of other projects I want to do. And I, I, oh, that didn't stick down yet. I gotta put that down so it can really stick. Um, I really enjoyed this and I'll do another one. I mean, it's, it's not perfect um, with especially uh, the spine, sewing it in. I, I thought I was being really super careful, but you know, it's, it's a little ziggy, but it's still great. It's still a great journal and I really like it. So much journaling space and so much fun. So yeah, that is really, it was really fun. Okay, guys, so that's it for now. And I will see you again soon. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thanks you for watching. Bye-bye.